I'm on my prime, I'm feeling like Steph I get my shot and I promise it's wet Waited too long, but I told him I'm next I need my bag, just run me the check Cable was mine, I ain't taking less I told him all, I'm as real as it gets Shit be a shit, dog, I'm cutting the net I thought I told him I came for my spot They told me time is like money, that's why I made it, I swear that I'm spending a lot They never seen the hours I put in to get here They only just see what I got I spent my time in the lab all this winter I swear that the summer is gonna be hot I cannot lie on this shit I paid a lot for this shit They got some money to spend I got some money to get I gotta talk on this shit I swear I told him I'm here I feel like I'm in the league I just keep making these hits Took a little break, but I swear that I'm back Go and ask anybody, put a city on the map They was trying to call when they sent a contract But I never be Guys, we have finally made it to Venice. I think it's day number six of my journey in Italy, but day number one of Venice. Now, <clears throat> the travel days are always the hardest to record because I have to carry this bag, which is what holds my camera, as well as my luggage, as well as make sure I'm getting on the right trains and translating if needed. It's kind of hard to record to say the least. It is so funny, even like when I come up to monuments like this, I'm recording with my camera, I'm recording with my phone, and I'm also taking a picture but my mom also wants pictures too, so I gotta send her them as well. But so far, Venice is absolutely stunning. Like genuinely guys, like every single bridge that I cross, I could literally stop there, take a video of it, and it would be an amazing shot to say the least, but there are certain bridges that everyone needs to check out. Uh, so originally what I was doing is went to go get some pizza from like this Farzi place, or I can't remember the exact name of it, but I was looking for one that was farther than the one that I actually went to. So I was just like walking and then I was like, wait, isn't that the place I was looking for? So I don't know why Google Maps or Apple Maps decided to put me at a spot that wasn't the closest, which was a little odd, but pretty cool that I was able to stumble across it. Now, I am not sure what this church is or cathedral or whatever this is, but I think it's like the San, what does it say? San Maria, San Maria Square or something like that. So it is one of the spots that you have to check out when you, when I look on TikTok, because yo, shout out TikTok guys, for real. That place, people are always putting us on the right spots to check out, as well as the food spots, which I'm definitely gonna need to check out in my spot tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do a gondola ride, because it's like 80 euros, and it seems like something you'd want to do more with a partner. So I mean, maybe I'll save that experience for later on down the road, but this is the view right now. And that is actually the gondola right there. It was absolutely crazy to me that like anywhere you go here, you're going through like small little alleys and stuff like that to just explore. There's so much to check out here. So I've got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow as well as today. I mean, today's still young, but it's definitely a little taxing to go from traveling or rather going on the train for like two hours to then walk around, explore and all that stuff. Like I won't lie, like sometimes I just want to lay in the bed, but I didn't come to Italy to fucking rest in there in a bed and we're only in Italy for two more days because we do have to take the airplane to not tomorrow but the day after to I want to say Austria and then Austria I have like an hour layover then I go from Austria to split so that's also gonna be fun but I need to figure that out because that's a whole situation in itself because I don't know if my bags are going to be automatically put onto the next plane or what the case may be so it's my first time doing it in in a different country because I have done it the layover when I was uh, in Montreal. It's actually my first ever layover. So I mean, I've been pretty fortunate to not have to do layovers, but I also haven't flown this far away. But as I said, we're just gonna explore. I also forgot to mention yesterday, which actually happened the day prior, which I believe was Saturday. On my way back to the hotel, I was on the bus and I was talking to this, this uh, local. I was asking, you know, what are the spots? Where should I go in Florence? And then I exchanged like my Instagram, like here, give me a follow on Instagram. He followed me on Instagram and he apparently watched one of my videos before, like one of my TikTok videos is absolutely insane to me to say, like all the way in Italy. And he's seen my videos, like it's pretty cool. It's a cool experience or thing to hear really. And hopefully it can motivate him a little bit, but shout out him. I can't remember his name at the top of my head, but there was a couple spots that I didn't actually check out yesterday in Florence, like the UZ gallery and all that, which I was told because I met this local and she was telling me about certain areas that I was supposed to check out, but I didn't. So is what it is. I mean, I saw what I wanted to see. It's more art 
focus. Like I think the UZ Gallery is where like Renaissance art started or something like that. And I mean, I'm into that stuff, of course, you know, history is history, but it's not necessarily my thing. I'm more into honestly nature, but I also really like stuff like this, like old buildings and stuff. It was a pretty sick view. But the objective of today is just to kind of explore, maybe check out a couple monuments. I think this is definitely one of the monuments and also to have a nice dinner and find a good spot for that. There's a lot of places that are on like the little rivers, I guess we call them, where the boats go by and whatnot. So this would be cool. But for now, just gonna explore, check out what we could see here and whatnot. Maybe get lost. Because like I said, there's a lot of really small corridors here. Even my hotel's down a very small corridor, so it's cool. But train ride, like I said, was two hours and also went over the water, which is really cool. I wish I got some more footage on the camera itself, but I told you guys it's hard to have the camera and I won't lie, I have a little bit of PTSD whenever I take out my camera, especially in like public transit or an Uber or anything like that. Because if you guys didn't know, I lost my camera when I was in Miami. <clears throat> I left it in the Uber and I never got it back. So, I mean, I gotta be more precautious and whatnot. And I mean, I'm still PTSD from that because last thing I wanna do is lose my camera and lose the footage of this trip because this is an amazing trip. And it's also like a once in a lifetime trip, especially because I'm, I'm never gonna experience these things again for the first time. So, really cool. We got, I should jump in. Yo, if we hit 5,000 subs, I'll jump in. I'll jump in. But honestly, <laughs> this video will be out way, way after I uh, leave Venice because I'm going to record all, edit all the videos when I get back. So kind of slack in that regard. But we're going to check out this area. So, I mean, just check out all these beautiful buildings.
This bridge is really nice. There's a bridge in Florence that I didn't show you guys because when I went there, I didn't have my camera. Very similar to this in terms of like the market element and also just as crowded. So a little hard to get the right angles, but hopefully we get a nice one here. I feel like the other side's better. But everywhere here is very beautiful. <laughs> All this jewelry. <clears throat> but this side definitely has more, just a better view to be honest. To see the, the structures, the coastline. Very beautiful. Burger King in Italy. I truly am surprised. But like McDonald's, I bet it's a lot better. I'm not going to try it though, because there's definitely better food options than Burger King. But every like, I want to say like, every block pretty well, you're going over a bridge, you're going over stairs. <clears throat> so I mean, if you're eating stuff like that, at least you're being more active. But I don't know, I find it crazy that they have that here kind of American culture seeping into Italy. Like who would have thought <laughs> that Venice has a K KFC as well, but a Burger King and stuff like that. Like honestly, I'm pretty shocked. But we're making our way back to the hotel right now. And I wanna show you guys where exactly the hotel is. Cause this is a little different. Cause I have to go through like this very tight hallway. Now, Right on that shoreline there that we just checked out. There should have lighting's good. Right on that shoreline we just checked out. There. There's a bunch of restaurants, but those restaurants are definitely, definitely ones that you gotta have a reservation for. Even the one I went to, people were getting asked, and unfortunately, we have a little mark on our chest. Now I realize these videos that I make when I'm recording the day after going for my um, travel days. I'm not really as like there's not as much content and that's just because like the traveling takes a lot out of you I have to wake up early get your train station come here and then I'm not gonna sit in the hotel and allow myself an hour or two to recover I'm just gonna go straight out which is why the videos are I guess on the travel days are a little shorter and not as much going on but tomorrow we're gonna make sure that we explore Venice to the maximum. I did ask a local what are some spots I should check out and they put, told me a couple spots which I will leave for tomorrow. More so just like two to be honest because I have explored quite a lot and this might even be one of them to be honest. <clears throat> but there's like a lot of just like anywhere you look it's just breathtaking. I mean it's a whole different environment. You to remember this is all an island too right? It's a small island. Not even small. I guess it is kind of small because I'm walking everywhere. But it's an island in the Middle East, which is really cool. And I haven't even explored this side. Which kind of puts into perspective how actually big it is. We're going this way. Also, I have to lug my luggage. Like 15 minutes, which is a lot less than I had to do in Florence. And I find it interesting to think that my train to from Rome to Florence got there at like 11. And I was out and about at about 3, 3.30. Same thing as today. However, the train came in today at uh, 12.55. So, I mean, big difference in terms of the time. But it's just because of how far my hotel was. And so far, I've actually really enjoyed Florence the most. I can't really say that because, I mean, I didn't really get a good experience of Rome. And Florence is one I did on the weekend. So, of course, it'd be a little bit more lively. But they're all beautiful in their own way. Like, if you were to ask me, like, which one would you move to? I would say Florence, just because the people, it's smaller, it's hectic, yes, but I also really like the, uh, the atmosphere. I didn't really get to see the Roman culture, per se, or like their dancing and all that, versus in Florence, I went to the Michelangelo Hill and they were dancing, they were singing. As you guys seen, that view was absolutely breathtaking. I could definitely check that out every single day but basically the plan is we're gonna go back to the hotel right now I'm gonna show you guys a little corridor I have to go through as well as a room tour I guess 
and then I'm gonna get a hoodie on because it is a little cold out and the rain's been on and off. Now hopefully it doesn't continue to rain because that wouldn't be fun, but that's the plan. Like I said, the corridor going to my hotel is definitely a little sketchy. <laughs> it's actually kind of similar to like this, but there's a bunch of these across the city where you just go out them, get lost, and you explore, which is the plan for tomorrow, to get lost, explore, and just see what this place is all about. Of course, I'm gonna ask people, especially tomorrow, because I'll have more time to wake up early. You know, also wanna do my laundry tomorrow, I think, because I did get this stain on this shirt. Now, hopefully they have product where I can get it out. And also, I gotta make sure the price isn't too, too bad. I feel like they might make it a little bit more. But I'm also thinking tomorrow of going to, I think it's called Maestro, Maestro, which is kind of inland on Venice, because Venice is, I guess, bigger than just the island. And so I feel like the prices for food there will be a little bit better, and I'll get more of an experience of what Venice food actually is, because I mean, obviously it's a tourist hotspot, so they're gonna jack up the prices. And it might, I mean, I'm not saying it's not good food, but sure. Look at McDonald's too. I just find that so odd. There's a McDonald's in Italy. It's very odd to me. I mean, McDonald's makes sense, but like Burger King, KFC, that's a little odd, especially KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like McDonald's is kind of a universal, I think now. I actually was trying to see if there's Tim Horton. My guess Canada isn't up like that. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do, like I said, the laundry tomorrow. So I'm about to wake up a relatively good time. I also wanna get espresso because that's such a big drink here in Italy. And tomorrow will be my last day in Italy for a full day, so we gotta make sure we make it count. I do think I'll come back though, I'll be honest. And right now, out of all the places I've been, like I said, Florence is definitely calling, but there's so many other places in Italy to check out, like Capri, uh, Sicily, um, what's another one actually? Oh, Milan, and uh, the Dolomites, such a, white or Amer American way to say it like I was asking people if they've been there and the way they see it is so much better than the way that I say it but it's just the accent difference I'm sure there's Canadian words and American words that they would say that doesn't resonate as much but all around the, the Italian culture has been good right I mean when I was in America there's a lot more homeless people a lot more people on the streets just fucking off drugs and shit like that versus here you don't see that, so that's good. I mean, it's an opioid crisis here, which is not a good thing. And there's also not a freaking dispensary every five blocks like there is in Canada, which is also a good thing because we don't need that. But these people here, they smoke a lot of the cigarettes, a lot different than Canada. It's very, very common. And I think you have to be like 18 to buy it too. But we're almost at the hotel. I gotta check my phone to make sure I'm going the right way, so. I want to show you guys, like I said, the little tunnel, little alleyway to my hotel, which is a little sketchy, but, and I'll give you guys a little room tour. And this is it. <laughs> this will be a little sketchy later on, but I'm not worried. And then, is this our room? Yeah, this is our room. So you just put the key card in this slot here. And this big ass door opens. <laughs> 